Good morning, guys. Welcome to um, science class. Properties of sounds and how do sounds travel through different materials? Properties of sound here. Properties of sound. You have seen how sounds are alike. Now look at some ways that sounds are different. Notice the pictures on page B108, which is the page I am showing to you right now. Oh, it's the page that I showed you yesterday. Uh, when the boy shouted, remember the boy was, was shouting? A shout, it is a loud sound. It has more volume than a whisper. The girls in this picture, picture of this page, uh, are whispering. They are telling a secret, something in the ear because, and they are speaking softly because they don't want anyone else listen to them, listen to what they are talking about. A whisper is a soft sound. Now look at the graph, this graph. Find, the, find another sound, soft sound on the graph. People whispering, birds singing. This one is jet landing. So what is the, the other soft sound in this graph? The first one is people whispering. The second one is a bird. Yes, bird singing. That's the second soft, um, soft sound. Yes. What makes some sounds louder, louder than others? The you jet. Know. But what makes it louder? Why bird singing didn't sound like a jet landing? Mm -hmm. Why? Because the, the birds are, are tiny. Probably birds are tiny. Yeah. And the and the and the jets are big they are bigger. Yes, they are bigger. If we compare a bird from to a jet, yes, it is bigger. Another observation. What happened with the Chihuahua's dog? They are small, right? But they can bark That's very loud. They could be very tiny, yes, because though they're they are tiny. small, right? And the beach is too high, so it hears too exactly. high. Exactly. Uh-huh. Exactly. So what, is, what, what does a, it says here? It says, you know that when you shout, you put a lot of energy into it. Yeah. If, you're, if your friend is close, you apply some energy. Yeah. But if your friend is far away, so you... You need to apply more energy to your shout when you scream. Yes, and if you scream a, lo a lot, you're, it's going to hurt here. Definitely. You use much, much less energy to whisper. Also, if you have ever hit a drum, you know that you can make the drum sound yes. loud or soft. So, depends. I can clap. Like this, soft, but I can do it. So the sound that I make clapping, I can do it soft or loud, right? Depends on the energy I apply to clap. You know that you can make the drum sound loud or soft. If you hit the drum lightly, the drums make a soft sound. If you hit the drum hard, the drums make a loud sound. It takes more energy for you to hit the drum hard. So the sound waves more have more energy. Yeah, if I am going to hit this soft, I do not apply a lot of energy. But I can, if I hit it harder, so I need to apply more energy, it's gonna sound uh, louder. A lion's roar here. What am I? I I'm get lost for a moment. Uh -huh. So the waves have more energy and the sounds is louder. A lion's roar or the sound of an airplane's engine. The engine is el motor. Okay. Motor de un carro no se dice motor. No. Se dice engine. This word. Engine. 
a lion's roar. Or the sound of an airplane's engine are some other loud sounds. A bird singing in a gentle breeze, breeze blowing through leaves makes soft sounds. What other loud sounds and soft sounds can you think of? Sounds also can also be different in other ways. What did you say, Maria Jose? Uh, the airplane sounds uh, loud. very loud. Very loud. If you when you're inside and there is gonna fly up and it hears too loud. Yes, it is very loud. If you have ever heard the music from a trombone, you know that it sounds very low. That makes a trombone sounds. What makes a trombone sounds so low? The trombone is this one. This girl is playing a trombone, this one, this. What makes it so long, low? Notice how large the, the trombone in the picture is. Yes, it's very large. The air vibrates slowly because the air vibrates slowly. The sound waves from the trombone are very long. Sound waves that have long wavelength make a sound with, with a low pitch. The pitch of a sound is how high or low the sound is. So it is the highness or loudness of a sound. That's pitch. And volume is the loudness or softness, softness of a sound. Here. Now, look at the flute in the picture. This boy is playing a flute. Would you expect the flute to play a sound with a low pitch or a high pitch? How does it sound? Do you think it has, the flute makes, have a high pitch or a low pitch? What do you think? Yes, I have a flute, I, I have a flute here. And how does it sound? Has a high pitch or a low pitch? High, high pitch. High pitch because the instrument is smaller. So the, the air inside of it vibrate faster. If you say hi, you are right. The flute has a smaller opening through it than a trombone does. When the child blows air into the flute, the air vibrates quickly. The sound waves have short wavelengths and the sound has a high pitch. Think about the string of a guitar. Some of the strings are thin. Who can play guitar? I have one, but I don't know how to play that. Okay, so you cannot, you I cannot, you don't know how, how it works. I am learning. Me, yes, Please I can learning. talk, I, I mean, but, I can use it, but I cannot, I cannot do songs, but I can sing it, I can touch it. I don't know how to touch it. Yeah, but you don't know how it works. And I need a person that knows how it works. That's what I says who can play guitar. So says some of the string are thin. Yes, some of them are thin and others of the string are thin. I am learning how, I am learning how, to, how, how to, to play. play. Okay. Yeah. And you see that the guitar has many strings, tiene muchas cuerdas, and once some of them are thin, son delgadas, y las otras van un poquito más gruesas. If you plug, this, if you plug this, the thin strings of the guitar, they vibrate quickly. The thick strings make sounds with a high pitch. If you plug the string, the thick string, they vibrate slow. The thick string make a sound with a low pitch. Se le llama bajo. Okay. Now, here, how do sounds travel through different matter? As you know, sound waves, unlike light waves, cannot travel through empty spaces. No travel to, through empty spaces. Since sound waves travel by making matter vibrate, if the room is empty, there is no matter. Okay, the walls are here. Yeah, but there are no chairs, no tables. So there is no matter uh, 
course sounds to vibrate if that space is empty. They must travel through matter. However, sound, sound waves travel faster in some materials than they do in other materials. Look at the pictures and read to find out why this happened. How sounds travel through wood. When, aha, through water. How sounds travel through air. When the bird in the picture chirps, the sound waves makes the particles in the air vibrate. When the particles vibrate, they bump into all the particles. The sound waves move from one particle of air to the next. Notice how um, how far apart the air particles are. These ones, they are not close together. They are, they are apart. The sound waves move slowly from one particle of air to the next one. What about sounds traveling in water? When the wheel in the picture scenes, the sound waves makes the particles in water vibrate. The sound waves move from one particle of water to the next. Notice that the particles in the water are closer than particles in the air. Look at here, the particles in here. It is, they are closer than particles in the air. So it means that it, that sound travels faster in water than in air. And the last one is how sounds travel through wood. When the child in the picture tops, taps on the door, the sound wave makes the particles in the wood vibrate. Notice how close together the wood particles are. This one, they are very, very close. So in, in conclusion, sound travels faster in solid, in liquid, or in gas. Where does it travel faster? Sound. Gas, water, or liquid, or solid. Quickly, guys, we have no time. We are talking about sound. Solid. In solid objects, in solid objects, sounds travel faster. In gas, in gas, sound travel slowly. Is that slowest in air? In gas. Okay. Now, let's complete this. You copy properties of sounds, right? Okay, copy number one. Number one. Volume. Let's copy the definitions of volume. Volume, number one. Copy, number one. Volume, the loudness or softness of a sound. Daniel, you are not copying. And we have three minutes to finish this class. If, you have, if I see that you are not copying, you have to upload picture in Schoology. Please, to, miss, the, the class will finish. Almost two minutes. Hurry up. Then we have just definitions of pitch, the heightness or lowness of a sound. Aha, uh -huh. Gabriel, you have not ready the notebook, right? Are you copying? Do you have your notebook there, Gabriel? We have a few minutes. Jose Enrique, you are not copying. What happened with my students today? Now no. we need to copy uh, the questions. Yes. So in the number one, we have the definitions of volume and pitch. So let's write number two here. Number two, when does an object make sound with a high pitch? When? Yes. Yeah? Quickly. When the sound waves have short wavelength. When the sound waves have short wavelength. Okay? In this case, but remember that you have to copy the questions, right? Question, what does an object make sound with a high pitch when the sound waves have short wavelength? Number three, let's write here number three. Miss? Yeah? Copy, volume, and pitch. Yes. ¿Dónde andaba usted cuando yo dije copy? 
in here. I'm, I'm no, ve, entonces no está en clase. No está I en clase. Ahí a mí no voy. Ajá. Number three. That's what it says. Let's copy number one, two, here instead of two, three. Why does sound travel faster through wood the tree than means. it does it through water? Oh, look at this first picture. See? Wood particles and water. Because the number three is, is comparing how sound travels through wood particles than water. So we conclude that we draw one, our conclusion was that sounds travel faster through through what particles wood particles or water particles wood. which one wood, wood right wood. wood because the wood particles are closer here there is a mistake here closer did you get that mistake Closer. We think in that tree. I'm the tree. I am in the two. I finish. I finish, Miss. I finish, Jose Enrique. One more part is missing here because the wood particles are closer and they bump into one into one another very quickly. Sounds waste travels faster in wood than in water. That's it. Miss that are two answers. It's the same answer for that last question. I finish me. Okay, so if you finish, you can dismiss a class. Oh, let me see how many we are. Subak, you connected late. Did you copy everything? I have connection problem. Because I didn't see you. I my internet is slow and I get out. And I, but, I, and I connect the uh -huh. telephone of my uncle. Okay, so my question is if you copy. Me. I am copying that two and that You two. are in that two. Mm -hmm. Yes, I copy that one. Okay, so far. Finish. Show me and I am going to dismiss you from the class, okay? So no homework in this class for this week. So thank you for your attention, guys.